in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friends warm greetings from the carmelite fathers and now welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings we are in the ordinary time of the liturgical year and it's the fifth, 16th sunday 16th sunday of the ordinary time the holy gospel according to mark chapter 6 verses 32 34 at that time the apostles returned to jesus and told him all that they had done and taught and he said to them come away by yourselves to a lonely place and rest a while for many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat and they went away in the boat to a lonely place by themselves now many saw them going and knew them and they ran there on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them as he landed he saw a great throng and he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd and he began to teach them many things the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends i always cringe every time to see or hear leaders in the country in a parliamentary session just throwing mud at each other the monsoon session of indian parliament is going on and you can witness to this it always leaves me in discomfort and sometimes even upset when i can sense that these leaders whom the general public voted to the office keep their focus more on self preservation rather than on the immediate needs of the people they govern yes self preservation is necessary in fact very important but a leader should understand how to make a balance between who he or she is what the people need and what he or she ought to do jesus in today's gospel tells us how to balance our lives amidst the many things and concerns we may have last week jesus sent his apostles in twos two by two for a mission 
Now they come back bringing with them all the beautiful experiences they have had while doing the mission. They seem to be very happy, excited to report back to Jesus about everything. More so, people could not stop coming to them. So Jesus urged the apostles to go and have a rest in an isolated place. Off they went. But the people followed them. Jesus allowed his disciples to rest a while. He taught the people who followed them. Jesus allowed his disciples to rest while he taught the people who followed them. When he saw them, he was moved with pity and compassion because they were like sheep without a shepherd. As a shepherd, he couldn't turn them away. He would have wanted to have a quiet time with his apostles. But because of the immediate need of the people, he had to forego his own whims and desire. The feeling of pity and the compassion that Jesus felt towards the people is much more than just a mere human feeling or emotion. He pities them not because of the sight of their misery and misfortune, but because it arouses such a deep feeling in Jesus that impels him to do everything possible to relieve the sufferers by a total commitment of himself to them and to their needs. In this way, Jesus is showing us an example of how to be a good leader. There is nothing which provides better instruction for others unto pity and worship of God than the life and example of those who have dedicated themselves to the divine ministry, says the Council of Trent. This is the kind of shepherd that God wishes to have in every appointed leader. A leader who knows that he or she needs to go alone every now and then and reflect on his or her life before God and on what she or he is doing, but also at the same time not forgetting the needs of the people whom he or she is sent to. A shepherd is one who knows the balance between self-preservation and ministry. This is in contrast with what a slack shepherd is, as the first reading tells us, Jeremiah chapter 23 verses 1 to 6. The prophet Jeremiah tells us that a shepherd who allows the flock to be destroyed and scattered is repugnant for the Lord. The shepherd who just preserves him or herself is one who just allows the sheep to go wandering and does not take care of them. We see there are leaders today in our world who couldn't support the general move to assist people in times of violence and war, maybe because of their connection or debt of gratitude to the reigning tyrant or who couldn't make one common solution to a prevailing problem of people smuggling or who are still engrossed with the idea of self-preservation over leadership by stealing the people's money in corruption, lying and overpricing projects etc. We need not just a shepherd. 
but a good one. And there is only one good shepherd, Jesus Christ. We need him more than ever because he alone can break the barrier between peace and war, between selfishness and generosity, between love and hatred. Let us pray. My dear friends, today is the birthday of Vincent Maria Das John. We wish him happy birthday and on behalf of all the listeners of Carmelite, we wish him happy birthday and pray for God's blessings. And today is also the death anniversary of Thomas Mendonca from Shirwa. May the Lord grant him eternal rest. We remember all our personal intentions, intentions of our family, especially those who have sent their prayer requests. All our benefactors and well-wishers, Good Shepherd, use us as your hands and feet. Use our mouth and ears so that we may be faithful to what we are called for and to whom we are called to serve. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, on 20th of this month, six novices made their first profession at our Carmelite community in Kola, that is in Tanzania, Africa. We have been working there since 40 years during doing the missionary work and we are happy that six of the native Carmelites have made their profession, profession of chastity, poverty and obedience. During the Eucharistic celebration, Father Sylvester the regional vicar accepted the commitment of these six brothers in the name of the church and we are happy and also we would like to thank you my dear friends for your prayers for our Carmelite order especially our Tanzanian African mission and also your love and patronage and sponsorship towards our brothers who are in the seminary. Kindly keep them in, our, in your prayers that they may remain faithful to the commitment that they have made. Still many more years to go to make the final commitment and to climb the altar of the Lord. So always pray for Carmelite seminarians and also pray that the order may get many more occasions and i'll be sending the photos and the report in the group you can have a look thank you see you tomorrow bye bye have a great sunday